if we want to focus on the cause of death data, which I encourage everyone to do, um, those are broken out by the three different age groups, stillbirth, neonates, and infant children. So on this page, we're looking at just the infant children. And as of today, we're showing causes of death of 650 that fall within this age population. What this web what this web page gives is the breakdown of those by the causes. And again, this top is looking at where, say, malnutrition or lower respiratory infection was the underlying cause or condition in the deaths. But we also show all of the other causes. As I mentioned, there in most deaths, there could be more than one cause that the panel felt contributed to that death. And this is shown, all of those are shown here. A couple of the features of this part of the website is that if we just want to look at the cases where malnutrition was the underlying cause, if I clicked on that, it filters for it. So there's 109 of those cases where malnutrition was the underlying cause. With that being filtered, you can look down and see of those cases, sepsis was the predominant immediate cause, but there's also low respiratory and then lower respiratory is also seen in, the, in as a contributor as a comorbid condition. Another little feature I would like to point out here is if you hover over one of these, you can see case level information, de-identified case level information. Um, but if you wanted to, to go further, deep dive further into the case level information, I will get in a, a few minutes to show you how you can download data sets. Um, the other filter aspect I'd like to point out here. So when I, let's just get back to, um, if you could, as I mentioned before, or just focus on one underlying cause. But if we wanted to see, say, lower respiratory infection, look at it, if it appears anywhere in the causal chain and not necessarily just as the underlying. I, we can filter for that on the left and see that 282 cases um, have lower respiratory infections anywhere in the causal chain. Again, doing that by filtering from the CHAMPS mortality category. If we wanted to see of those 282 deaths, how many were community deaths, then we can just filter for that and hit apply. Same diff if filtering for the sex. Um, for those hospital deaths, you can filter for if the hospital length of stay was known. And then again, as I mentioned, probably the most important part of the decode panel discussion um, when they come up with the cause of death is how is that death preventable? And so you can also filter for preventable deaths on this website as well. Going back to this aggregate data, <clears throat> it's at the network level, but again, you can get to an individual diagnosis by here, but it does not show the site, what country of origin it was from. So we, I showed you that you can filter for just looking at those cases where lower respiratory or pneumonia was part of the causal chain. Um, to unfilter, again, you can just click unclick that box or go back to revert to all. But sticking with that lower respiratory infection, it's great to know that all of those cases where pneumonia did play a role, but you're probably asking, well, what were the pathogens involved in that? So that's where that tab, infectious causes by etiology, can you can drill down to that level. Say, for example, you're interested in um, respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. If you come over to the etiology name, you can filter for RSV. And what it will do, it will show you at the top, there's 21 cases of infant and child deaths where RSV was in the causal chain. Five of those had it as that underlying or originating etiology. And then it breaks down where it showed up. Again, there was five that had it as the underlying cause. And then the remaining cases had it in as an immediate or comorbid cause. But if you're more interested in saying not just a, a specific pathogen, 
but any of the pathogens that were involved in those lower respiratory infection deaths. I'm now filtering for the CHAMPS mortality category and just selecting the lower respiratory infections and then hit apply. And now we're back to that 282 cases that had lower respiratory infections as part of the causal chain. But what you can see on this web, web page is that it then breaks it down into the etiologies associated with that, with those cases where, where lower respiratory infection, both when those cases where it was the initiating factor or it fell somewhere else along the chain.